And next on your list is number eight. This is Arctostaphylus uva ursi. Common name is Kinnikinnik, which actually reminds me, I should mention that uh, spelling does matter. And I do count off for spelling uh, for Latin binomials and for family names. It's only a quarter point, so you can actually be a pretty terrible speller and still get an A in this class. But on common names, I'm much more lenient. And so if you uh, just give me a few K's and N's and I's, and Kinnikinnik will probably be uh, just fine. So uh, we're pretty lenient on that. And common names, uh, as, as, you'll, uh, as you'll note in some other videos, uh, are highly variable. So we try to rely on Latin binomials. But Arctostaphylus uva ursi, we're out in a, uh, a parking lot island here, and this is a perfect use for Kinnikinnik. It is a, uh, a very Mediterranean plant, and a Mediterranean climate is one that gets all of its rain, uh, or predominantly all of its rain during winter, and little to no uh, moisture during summer. So in the case of Arctostaphylus, they actually uh, do very poorly if they're irrigated heavily during summertime, okay? So they prefer to be dry during summer, wet during uh, the winter. Arctostaphylus is in the uh, um, uh, Ericaceae family, and like other, uh, some other Ericaceae, uh, Ericaceae species, it has uh, ursulate flowers, okay? and these are white uh, predominantly, but there are cultivars of Arctostaphylus uva ursi that have pinker flowers, so there's a little bit of variability. Also some variability in the height. We're generally looking at a very prostrate, low-growing ground cover, but you can see in this case it is at least 12 to 14 inches uh, off the ground. Uh, they have alternately arranged leaves, as do other Ericaceae species. Uh, and in this case, er uh, Arctostaphylus also has really attractive uh, exfoliating bark. Okay? This is a good common trait uh, among many species of Arctostaphylus. Okay? And this is actually a good ID feature to differentiate between some of the other ground covers that we'll do a little bit later in the term. So we've got this major central branch with exfoliating bark and woody, woody stems. Uh, in addition to the white flowers, that exfoliating bark, this evergreen ground cover also has these pretty attractive uh, red fruit. They're mealy. Uh, I, I think they probably won't kill you, but I don't recommend eating them. Uh, that's always the uh, best rule of thumb. Uh, the, the leaves of Arctostaphylus uva ursi are very coriaceous, that is, they're leathery, almost to the point of feeling a bit like plastic. They are generally elliptic, quite small, half inch or so, and um, yeah, that's uh, uh, good, good traits uh, there. So if you need a low uh, water use, uh, very drought tolerant, uh, low growing ground cover, and you're in a Mediterranean climate, I do recommend Arctostaphylus uva, uva ursi. Uh, Arctostaphylus in general do not like uh, uh, east coast conditions. So on the east coast we get lots of moisture during summer, lots of humidity, and that's going to rot these, uh, this species. So that's Arctostaphylus uva ursi.